Okay, we've been working on this uh, as always. I think like anything you can simplify in golf probably helps everybody. And I've been trying to simplify the mic costing kind of shoulder uh, width apart feet. The pivot is your walk. So if you're walking, you're pivoting, but your top half kind of has to pivot at the same time. It's pretty easy to do when you're in the vertical position. Uh, when you're slightly bent over, it becomes harder because to truly pivot, you need a downward movement of the lead shoulder. And as Jack Nicholas said, he had a feeling that he wanted to keep his shirt buttons or the middle of his body, but he was talking about his shirt buttons, behind the ball, right? So this here is behind the ball, and he was just thinking behind the ball for as long as possible, as in this vertical drop that everyone talks about, and then when it's here, it was a delay. That's where the mystery of golf is about lag and stuff like that, and the delay. If you break it down into two things, which in the Varden swing is the is this position here which you can check because in this position uh, you can do this but you will not ever reach the ball well that's fine because if you just give it the little baby da -dum, you're perfect right so it causes this to happen and you're locked in here so you can drill this in the house you see this here so this here can be drilled and you've just got to try and keep these shirt buttons from going forward right so and then it's right I don't really uh, worry about the through swing because it's done after that point impact with the ball basically is the end point of the swing okay you could argue that you've got to finish somewhere but um, this part here where Jack Nicholas talks about if the ball's there he's thinking that he's going to and you can see the difference here when you move like this you're pivoting to your rear heel or rear and then you're coming through this way everything in sync I think uh, what p most people and I was doing wrong for so many years was the Varden grip is a, a kind of unnatural grip so this should be going up to your right shoulder and then this be here, it goes up here as well. So in between here and here on both hands. Some people say that's a strong grip. But if you think about there and then the shoon, there's where it all becomes golden. And the reason for that is that you are rotating everything through. So that this lead shoulder, you're slapping it with this and your you get like a that's your lag but it's created not through uh, any massive miracle it's created because you have as I say drill this point here and you'll never get to the ball and this is what you want to be feeling here at address hence why this magical thing here Ben Hogan, Sam Sneed. That's a proper waggle. That's a proper waggle. Right? That is a true waggle. Now all that's doing is proving that you are in this position. That's all. When you're actually swinging, it's this position here. Bang. The key's the waggle, if you like.
and loads of people have talked about the waggle but it wasn't till I found this that I discovered that's what they actually meant that's a waggle um, it's not this type of thing or this or that and then that, that, that's not a waggle right and um, this will help your golf no end it will also help you with a Varden uh, drop which is this in here and then this so that's what you want to be feeling there that makes sure you're in the right position and then that is just thrown out it's thrown and centrifugal force does the rest that's why it's so repeatable and it's so uh, like it, it isn't over in an instant but it's the proper waggle that sets it all and uh, in actual fact if you have the wrong type of waggle it can can actually uh, knacker it before you've even started like I said to you you take away which is only about that long away from the ball if it's poor it's very difficult to come back thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it uh, as always all for charity um, a subscribe and a like a share would be very much helpful for the channel and the ad revenue going to the charities.